And welcome to beautiful rural France. What a gorgeous day. Uh, so since I've uploaded my last video, the polytono is full of pots. I've been sowing a lot, a lot of seeds. Sometimes seeds don't germinate and it is not our fault. Remember that guys, it is not our fault. It's just the seed, it's not viable for some reason and especially organic ones. So you never know what you're going to get. I have quite multiple uh, pots with compost and I'm going to take them outside and I'm going to sow other things. So all our hard work of putting compost in the pots and all that is not wasted. We're going to reuse the pots again. I have some pots outside. I have some more in there. I'm going to take them outside and from there, and obviously we're going to choose some of my seeds. Round courgettes, uh, marrow. These are ours from last year, seeds from last year, and cabbages. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a little bit of each, I think. So here we go, those are all the pots with none of the seeds germinated. And yeah, so the thing I'm going to be doing first is obviously they are all like tight in, like very pressed in. Uh, the first thing I need, I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the compost and like shake it because we want them to be soft so we can uh, sow. Ow, <laughs> you've been stabbed. So we can uh, we can sow new seeds. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm obviously I'm going to start making holes. I'm going to use this um, and make four holes, and then stick four seeds in each of the pots. That's it. It's easy peasy. No, no hard work or anything making some holes and then stick the seeds in it and then what we do afterwards is just we cover them back with the compost and then afterwards we give them some water some tape and uh, seal them properly and then I put them in the in the tin and then they can be properly sealed so we can use them next time and then I'm going to do the same thing with this envelope next to the peppers in here I'm going to put my marrows in line <laughs> 
And then another one in there. Here we go. I'm going to put this one in here. And then what I do, guys, is because uh, when you start uh, sowing a lot of vegetables, it can get a bit confusing with the plants because then everything looks nearly the same. You don't know which plants they are and some plants needs to be outside earlier than others and some plants they need to be inside the polytunnel a little bit longer because they are quite a warm plant. I use some of these uh, tiles. We have a lot of uh, broken tiles. As you can see, we have them all uh, around the polytunnel and I write the name. So these ones are marrow, so put marrow. So I'm going to water my seeds and uh, what I normally do is I fill my watering cans. I leave them here in the polytunnel to warm up for a couple of hours and then I water my seeds because uh, and my plants. I normally water my plants like later on the day, on the midday, something like that when the temperature is higher and then I water everything. What I don't want is a shock to the plants. You don't want to be watering your plants with very cold water. So that's what I do. My recommendation is uh, get some water, leave it in a warmer place, keep the water warming up first, and then water your plants. And uh, another thing, I'm going to water my uh, seeds uh, in a different way than when I water my plants. Obviously, when you water your seeds, you don't have any plants yet. So I put my uh, rows and then I water them from the top. But for example, when uh, uh, I get plants like this, mm -hmm. because being, especially being inside the polytunnel, because it's so warm, if you water them from the top and the leaves get wet, they can get burnt. And uh, yeah, so I don't want to hurt my plants. I definitely recommend, and when they get bigger as well, when I plant them outside, I try to water from the bottom. That is the best way to water your plants from the bottom instead of like, you know, with the rows on the top. Try to like water them from the bottom and then all the water goes straight in the soil and then your leaves stays nice and not burnt. What I normally do is I go each plant, each pot and then touch the soil. If the soil is still very damp, I don't water it, but if the soil, you know, when I stick my finger in the soil is dry, then I water the, the pots. But because the temperature is getting warmer and warmer, obviously they need water, uh, constant more water, maybe every day, two days as summer comes. Unfortunately, I have a dead tree. We have uh, over 48 fruit trees and uh, Definitely this tree is dead and we can't have it on our land because as you can see the branches are snapping so easy so it is very dead and the trunk is very very dry definitely. The thing is if this tree have any infection, infection or something like that I don't want to keep it definitely you should not keep it because if these trees have any infections, I don't want my other trees to have the infections. So we definitely need to chop this tree off. The way I'm going to do it is just um, chop it all the way to the bottom of this tree. Here we go, I think. Here we go. Yeah, definitely. This tree is dead as a bone. Oops, that has a bone. I'm snapping it all and then we can use it for the fire. At least it's not wasted. Put it on our stove. <laughs> well, it is what it is. morning everybody uh, as i said we have 48 different trees all around our garden and as you can see here we have our elderberry tree wasn't here when we came to france 
when we came to this land and we planted uh, this elderberry tree from like teeny tiny on, on the hedge and in four years, three, four years, look at it, it's just massive, such a wonderful tree. Just superb. And these trees, obviously they grow so quickly and they give you fruit. And just amazing, if you want something that grows really quickly, gives you fruit for your jams and fruit, this is your tree, just an awesome tree. And at the same time, it just give, gives a shade for our chickens. And in there we have the broom. This wasn't here either. And in, as I said, three, four years, it's just amazing how big. They grow so good. And those are my um, recommendation of trees. You can uh, grow very fast, gives you awesome flowers, awesome seeds, so you can have a lot of brooms and a lot of pop of color on your garden and fruit you can have it as fruit this elderberry tree you can make jams you can make wine birds love them to absolute bits so we share them with our wild birds as well <laughs> it's superb this is one of um, my favorite trees this uh, elderberry tree the fruit is superb it's so tasty and nice and perfect spot for the chickens, as I said. And going forward in the hedge here, we have blackberries. In a minute, we're going to have some blackberries coming in the hedge in there. All the way there, superb. And this, we have an apple tree. Then going forward, we have hazelnut tree in here. Just amazing. I don't know if you can see it so good doubled in size as well this tree was teeny tiny and then it's grown superb we have another one in here as well and it's just amazing so cute and as well we have a, a hazelnut hedge on the front of the garden superb apples it's just we have all different species of apples and another two here it's just superb. Look at our baby fruits, apples. So many apples. We're going to have an abundance of apples this year. All our fruits, they are going to be so many. They got so big since we planted them in here. All these trees, all our 48 trees, we planted them when we came here to France. And just they doubled in size tripled some of them superb and we have sticks all along this hedge and every stick is an oak tree we got from our land and they are doing just superb they this one was tiny and now from last year is doing amazing we need to take this grass off but it's doing just amazing amazing and this one as well we have another oak tree here Coming, superb. So another stick in here, so we have an oak tree going on in there. Another oak tree here, coming. It's just amazing. And this is another apple tree. Look how many fruits are producing already. It's just amazing. And another oak tree here. Oh, so cute. <laughs> this hedge is just so good. This was so small when we came here. And now it's just three meters tall, three, four meters tall. It's just amazing. And this is another broom. We brought here as well. We've planted it in there. Honestly, we get them 
from our land. So our hedge is getting amazing since we came here and uh, we left it grow because we want quite a big massive hedge, a bit of privacy as well with our trees we're going to have more privacy going on in there and uh, yeah so these trees all our fruit trees are going to get bigger they're going to be quite a good size so we have here another tree <laughs> i'm going to take you around my hedge because it's doing amazing since we came here to france it's just awesome here we have plenty of uh, blackberries holly they're all doing superb now all the varieties of plants are growing just amazing and in here we have um elderberry tree and this was teeny tiny like that super tiny and um, just grown in a in a year we have this massive elderberry tree is just so fast growing so we have here hazelnut a tree going on in here and then we have another one on there on front we have plenty around the hedge i'm excited because look how big it's coming now and it's go we're gonna have so much nuts and i can't wait for that it's just amazing it's just so good so cute another hazelnut in here they grow like crazy and they're just superb we're gonna have so much nuts and i can't wait for it and this year we're gonna have so much fruit because all our trees are full of uh, fruit already elderberry tree awesome as i said plant a tree it is a tree and in this place in here we have blackberries everywhere it's just amazing so good full of blackberries so many pies we're gonna have <laughs> this year i can't wait for it we have a rose in there coming oh look at them so cute wild rose oh it's teeny but it's coming oh it's so cute and uh, yeah, as I go forward, we have blackberries coming, awesome. Everything is gonna like get massive, massive, massive. And it's superb. Here I have another tree. The cherry tree we have in there, and we have another cher apple trees everywhere. We love the apple trees. Cherry tree in here. This one is doing amazing, amazing, amazing. This apple tree is just amazing. It's going just superb. Look at this. This tree was tiny when we got it. And he's just loving this spot. It's getting awesome. And the reason we put this uh, um, plastic bottle in here is because previously we used uh, Diametis earth on our trees, on the trunk to protect our tree from the ants because obviously the ants uh, milk the aphids and they can like spoil your tree. And we've been like applying uh, Diametis earth on the trunk and obviously don't worry guys i will be making a video about the diameter's earth the good stuff about it because it's superb it is a quite a natural way of uh, uh, getting rid of uh, parasites and ants and all these things so i will be making a video about it specifically about it and how you use it for, on your chickens and everything because they they can use it internally and externally so it is very efficient. Another apple tree in here as well. Another apple tree in here as well. I <laughs> know we have a lot of trees. We have a fig tree. Unfortunately, in a minute it's gonna come back. But for some reason, I think because fig trees are quite a warm plant, so they're not being doing really well in here. But in a minute it comes back again for some reason. So it's not dead. 
this fig tree will come back again. Another apple tree, species of apple tree. And in here we have gooseberries. We have two gooseberries. These gooseberries were teeny tiny and in a year and a half, it's just, look at it. It's looking superb. So cute. So in here, I need to say as well, plants love to grow together. So we had previously like plants on their own and they didn't do really well. And then when we put more stuff, more uh, other species around them, it's just they loved it and they grown so good. Here we have a, a different species of oak tree, as you can see, different than the other one, but still is an oak tree. And because we have a, a couple of oak trees around the chicken, run so any seeds that fall on the ground we pick them up put them in a pot leave them to grow a bit bigger and then we plant them outside and we've been planting them around the hedges this is a broom this is an excellent plant if you want something that is always evergreen and gives you such a pop of beautiful color like this is this this is a perfect plant for you if you want to grow something very quickly you can buy it anywhere in garden centers or you can like if you go for a walk in the countryside you can you can pick a couple branches and plant them and they grow so quickly and they are evergreen so you're always going to have something green on your garden or on your backyard or anywhere you want to put them and then these give seeds the reason we have so many of these brooms they give these uh, seeds and then all our uh, wild birds eat them and they go around the garden and poop oh, and then we end up with plenty of them then we pick them up and we plant them around our hedges so we have that one then we have another one in here Coming is just looking amazing. This one is plum tree, is doing superb. And this year we're gonna have an abundance of fruits looking superb. These ones they grow so quickly, as you can see. This one wasn't here when we came, and we planted it in there, and then they grow so fast. This species grows so so fast. So fast, it's unbelievable, beautiful. And in here on the bottom, we have this uh, different species of uh, oak tree. We've uh, planted this honeysuckle, such a beautiful plant. And we bought this especially because we want to cover this pot because we don't want to look at it. And uh, this, uh, plant, uh, this plant is gonna grow all the way up, it's gonna keep growing. So we want to hide the pot because it's not that pretty. We want to hide it and the flowers is just amazing and this smells wonderful just a beautiful plant here we have another broom full of seeds and here we have more a cherry tree it's just looking so good we're gonna have a, a pleasure of fruit look at them Oh my god, this year we're going to have an abundance of fruit, I can't wait. They are just amazing. The colour is just stunning. Gives us this amazing, amazing colour to our garden and encourages other species, bees. It's just that's what we want. We want an awesome, massive hedges to encourage a wildlife here and we love it here we have another oak tree this wasn't here when we came and in four years i think this one was like maybe two two years and look at them look. more oak trees going on in there this is our um green gauge tree maybe the first year when we came here to france this tree gave us hundreds of green gauges and uh, honestly afterwards we've been having frost in spring, late, late, uh, later spring, and we've been uh, not having green gauges, but the tree is just amazing. I love it. This tree was here when we came, part of uh, the land. It's doing superb. And in here we have white, black, and red currants. So good, they're coming now. Another broom coming on in there as well. 
another broom. In here we have a dog rose, known as well as wild rose, beautiful flowers, encourages bees, and that's what we want, they love it. And then we have lilac in here, such a beautiful plant as well. They uh, produced a beautiful uh, lilac flowers, obviously they're gone now, such a beautiful plant. And I will have another one in here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon because it will help massively this channel. And if you like this type of videos, please let me know in the comments below and share it with friends and family because it will help massively this channel. And yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and see you soon.